All right, guys. Welcome to day 10, the final. Um, Ashley here. <laughs> um, you guys can't see my face, but I do have a little bit of a slideshow for you guys today. So maybe a visual will be a little better for you guys. I was thinking there are a lot of directions and things that we need to do today. So if everyone could get their devices out to where you can see my shared screen, that would be great. All right, so next slide here. Today you'll be taking the final. There is no Zoom or in-person class today. So you're doing this whenever you want today. Maybe you're doing it late at night, in the middle of the day, however you wanna do it, totally cool with us. Um, but there is no chapter reading today. Thank goodness, right? Um, but today, I cannot stress this enough, today is not the permit test. This is just a final in our class to see kind of how you did. Um, you guys will need to take the final over and over and over again until you get that 80%. Um, if you get, you know, 78%, that is not 80%, and we will not give you a blue card. So you need to take the final over and over and over until you get that 80%. You can take it over as many times as you would like. There is no limit on that. So don't stress out too much about that. My best advice for you guys is if you do feel like you're not doing well and you're not getting that 80%, I would still continue to do all of the 100 questions on the final. I usually see kids have a lot of problems and they have to take it over like five or six times because they take 20 questions and then they restart and then they take 30 questions and they restart. Just take the whole thing. Then you'll kind of remember all the answers and you only probably have to take it twice then. But there's no reason to keep on doing it and stopping and starting halfway through or whatever. I just those are the kids that usually have to take it so many times. So just take it the first time through. If you fail, take it again and it should be no big deal. Um, I will say that this final is a lot harder than the permit test. So if you kind of do bad on it, don't be discouraged. Um, the quizzes that we take in here, like the permit test review and things like that, that's pretty much like the permit test. But this is just kind of like a review on everything that we've done um, to see if you remember. Because you know what? Driving, it's not just about answering those 40 questions on the permit test and passing. I mean, there's a lot of other stuff that we need to remember and know for the whole time that we're driving. Okay. Um, but if you guys need a makeup day, please still take the final. We do so much review in the class that there should be no reason why you should have to finish your makeup days first. It's not a big deal at all. We review every single day at the beginning of class usually. So most of these answers you probably will know on the final and they, they won't be a surprise or anything like that. Um, Google Classroom. So when you guys look in your Google Classroom today, um, and I'm sure that you already seen because you already were there grabbing this teaching video, but in the classwork tab, you will see a few things. And I'm just gonna chat about those really quick. But at the very top of the list, we have the DMV ID document list, okay? So if you are not sure what you should bring to the permit test, you can open this up and print this out for your parents. Um, but usually kids just bring their original birth certificate and their social security card, okay? We need two primary documents and we like need them in our hands. You can't have like a picture of it or it can't be a copy, it needs to be the original. And if you don't have the original, you can click on this list right here and um, it will show your parents what else you can bring, like a student ID or a passport or things like that. Next one we have is the parent student quiz. You probably have already taken this. I know usually at the end of class, um, I notice that everyone's kind of already done this. this. Maybe you already took this before you even came to driver's ed because when you do sign up for driver's ed, we email your parents this. So you've probably already had this done. If you don't, there it is. Um, the take a drive and locate worksheet. Um, if you've already turned this in in class or if you've already uploaded this, don't worry about it. This is just for the kids that haven't uploaded it yet. But um, I have a copy of both of the worksheets and then a spot to upload it as well on your day 10. I have some extra review if you would like that. You don't need to, but Everybody, you know, is different. Some kids might like some extra review. Totally cool. Then I have the outtake form. This is the outtake form that you will fill out after passing the final. If you don't fill out the outtake form, you know, it's going to be a little bit more uh, jumping through hoops because we kind of do everything in order. We'll look at your final score. Then once we see your final score, then we do the outtake form. And then we that's how we give you your blue card. So if you don't fill out the outtake form, it just takes us a little while longer to get you your stuff. Um, then we have the final here, the teaching video that you're watching right now, the driver's log, if you misplaced it or anything like that, you can click on that and print that off. 
Um, otherwise, there is also the very last thing would be to sign up for a permit test. This is the link if you want to click on it and sign up for it at our office in Forest Lake, or if you um, are at one of the high school locations that we offer drives, drivers at, at North Branch, Chisago, or Princeton, um, you can also sign up for that here as well. All right, blue slips. So if you're taking the permit test with us, we will hold on to the blue card for you, okay? So if you are coming to our office, you've already set up a permit test, we're gonna hold on to that blue card so you guys don't lose it um, or it gets lost in the mail or anything like that. We're just gonna hold on to it and we'll give it to you right when you come to the door. If you are taking the permit test at one of our high school locations, like I said, the Cambridge, um, Princeton, North Branch, Chisago, we will give it to you as um, you come in for the test. So even if you're taking it somewhere else, not at our office, at one of our high school locations on the last day of class, we will give you your blue card then. So don't stress out about that. Um, but if you do live far away and you're going to be taking the permit test somewhere else, like at a local DMV that offers it, we will get this in the mail for you. Okay. And how you will let us know if you want your blue card mailed is by filling out the outtake form that I chatted about on the previous slide. So after you're done with your final, you got 80%, it's gonna direct you to fill out this outtake form right here that I have on the left side of the screen. It's just basic info. We just wanna confirm your first, middle and last name, your date of birth. So when we fill out the blue card, it's legit. Like if your name is Jackson and then you put Jack on your contract, well, um, when filling out that blue card, the DMV is not going to let you take a permit test. So that's why we ask for your legal name. I don't, the nicknames and things like that are a name that you want to be called. The DMV doesn't so much care about that. They care about what is on your actual birth certificate. So make sure you fill out your full legal name when you're filling this out. Phone numbers, we ask for those because if you're doing it behind the wheel or something like that and we can't find you, we're like, where the heck is this person? Maybe you're stuck in traffic. Um, that's a number for my instructors to call so we can get in touch with you. Um, also your home address, we're confirming that. So if you want it mailed, um, I'll just want to mail it to the right place. <laughs> and then also here you can check a box. Would you like it mailed or would you like us to keep it? Cause you're taking the test with us. So it's just some basic stuff. This outtake form is pretty easy, but I cannot stress this enough. If you do not fill out your outtake form, it just takes us longer to get you all of that information. Like usually we do the kids that took the file and got the 80%. Okay, great. Then we go to the next thing. They fill out the outtake form. Okay, they want it mailed, then we'll get it in the mail right away. But if you take the final and you do not fill out the outtake form, we put you in a separate pile and then we just deal with you at a later date, like in a week or so when we can reach out, when we, have, when we find time for us to do the extra step of reaching out and saying, hey, you didn't fill this out, so make sure that you do it. So it does kind of, you know, waste time if you don't fill out the outtake form because we don't get you all of your blue card and get your stuff in your in the mail right away for you because we don't know what you want so we kind of just go on order of the kids that did it right get all their stuff out and then the kids that don't fill the outtake form we just kind of let them chill there for a bit i know we just got a lot of other stuff going on and you know if you didn't follow the rules you're just kind of sit on our desk for a little bit with your blue card okay so just don't have that and fill out the outtake form there's always at least 10 kids a class so i'm re-recording this video right now in hopes that like we can clear that up and everyone takes the outtake form, okay? All right, so after passing the final with 80%, now it's time to start thinking about the permit test. So there's a lot of different places that you can take the permit test. Number one, you can take it at a DMV that offers it. Um, here in Forest Lake, where I am teaching at, the Forest Lake DMV does not offer the permit test. They don't offer it, that's why we offer it here. So I just kind of, letting you know that you can take it at Arden Hills. I want to say you can take it in Cambridge, um, but I know you can take it in St. Cloud. There's a couple of different places where you can, but you'll just have to visit the DMV website, see locations, and then pick a test that works for you. But either way, anywhere you go, you need an appointment. Minnesota does not allow walk-ins for the permit test. Um, number two, you can take it at our main office in Forest Lake. Um, number three, um, if you're taking the like your driver's ed class at a high school location of right-of-ways, um, North Branch, Chisago, or Princeton, we usually offer the permit test on the last day of an in-person class. So if you're doing an online class, we don't offer the permit test at, on location at the high school. But if you're taking an in-person class, we usually have that option for you guys. But either way, you do need to make an appointment um, for your permit test. And there is a link on your Google Classroom today 
about how to set up a permit test. And I'll kind of show you that here at the end of the slides. Um, once you have your permit, it's time to start driving. Um, get at least 10 hours of drive time under your belt with someone 21 plus in the passenger seat. Then it's time to set up that very first behind the wheel lesson. We ask for you to get the 10 hours to get the jitters out of the way with your parents. So when you're in the car with us, we can focus on the rules of the road, the basic skills, all that stuff. Um, and you're not so like nervous about it. You're more relaxed and you can actually take in the skills that we're trying to teach you. Okay. Um, remember when driving with your parents or somebody else that's 21 plus, maybe it's your granny. Um, just remember to drive in all weather conditions, snow, rain, heavy traffic, or even a road trip. You guys need to be driving all the time. If your parents are going to Menards, you're driving to Menards. If your parents are going to a Twins game, you should be driving to the Twins game. Um, drive all the time, um, especially in that snow. I know that parents are like, oh, it's snowing. Maybe they shouldn't drive. But really, that's the great time to drive because it, it just makes a little bit of sense. Like if you're driving in the snow, it's so nice to look over to the person to the right of you and be like, hey, am I doing this right? And they could help you. You know, when you get your driver's license, they're not going to be anyone next to you to ask those questions to. So kind of now is the time to ask those questions. If you're unsure about anything and your parent can reassure you or correct you or help you, you know what I mean? So it is really important to drive in all weather conditions or areas that you're not even familiar with would be a great thing too. I know at first, when you first start driving, you have your permit, drive in areas that you're familiar with. But as you start, you know, the six months is moving along, maybe by like month, you know, two or three, you start driving in areas that you're not familiar with. I mean, if you're driving in your regular neighborhood, you know that at this house, the dog always pops out, you know, and you're looking for that. You need to um, see things that you've never seen before. So you can kind of become a better driver um, by not knowing what situations may come up, you know, so you can practice those things with that person right next to you being able to help. Um, I can't stress this enough, though. You guys need to practice all the time with your parents. As you can see in the top left corner over here, I took this from the DMV website. Like when you sign up for a driver's test, they actually give you these stats. But it says practice um, for your road test. On average, 25% of 16-year-olds taking the classy road test do not pass. And that jumps to nearly 50% for people 19 years of age and older. So as you can tell, the older you get, the actual harder it is to pass a road test, believe it or not. Um, we don't even accept adults here at this driving school anymore because, yeah, it, that 50%, I mean, that's very true. Um, I've never had a teen crash my car, but I've definitely had those adults. So it's good that you're doing this now. Um, you guys get out there and practice as much as you can with your parents, okay? Ooh. Six hours of behind the wheel. So you will need three separate sessions, and you'll need to spread them out over the six, to, six months to a year that you have your permit. You can only do one behind the wheel on the monthly calendar at a time. So please... Plan ahead. If you have sports in the fall or whatever, I mean, that's totally great, but you got to plan around those things. You can't just sign up for all three behind the wheels in the month of June. Um, your life, your behind the wheels will be automatically canceled. It just, we only allow one on the monthly calendar at a time. Okay. Um, when you come in for your behind the wheel lesson, you want to make sure that you have your valid permit with you. Um, you will not be able to do a lesson without a permit. So if you come up to us and you're like, hey, I have a picture of it on my phone, we are not able to do the lesson. And that's just state law. You are not able to do a behind the wheel lesson without a valid permit. Um, we do charge them this lesson fee of $50 if you don't show up for your appointment or if you don't have your permit. And we send you guys a million text messages, reminders, email reminders. There's no reason why anyone should ever show up unprepared. Um, so make sure you have a wallet and you're keeping stuff in there and not losing anything like that. If you do lose your permit, it's really not a big deal. You can go to the DMV and just apply for a new one and you have your papers right there on the spot. So even if you lost your permit and you have a behind the wheel lesson the same day in the evening, you can go to the DMV in the morning and you can just apply for a duplicate. Super easy, but we just cannot do a lesson without a permit, not even a picture. And your papers that you guys do get, so like the day you guys go take your permit test and you pass, you got your picture, you'll get some papers and you'll be able to drive with those, but those papers do expire. So keep that in mind. As soon as you get your hard copy in the mail, those papers are now void. And just in general, those papers do expire too. So maybe your ID got lost in the mail or something like that. And you're like, gosh, my hard copy hasn't came forever. Those papers do expire. So keep an eye on that as well. 
Um, but we know that the hard copy is good for two years. We learned that in class. So keep that in mind as well. Your hard copy permit's good for two years. Um, I also want to mention, um, but the reason why we only offer one behind the wheel in the monthly calendar at a time is because we want you to space them out so you can practice those skills with your parents that you learned with us in between the lessons. If you do all three behind the wheels at the very end of your six months to a year, you're going to have so many built up bad habits. If you do all your behind the wheels at the beginning, I mean, that's a very long time to remember all those skills. So if you space them out, we've learned that a lot more kids pass the road test. If you space them out and practice with your parents, what you learned with us in the meantime. Um, we also offer on the very last behind the wheel, so on the third behind the wheel lesson, we do offer the option of you using our car and um, us setting up the road test for you. So if you're going to take the road test and say Cambridge, which we love there, and that's what we mostly go to, um, if you're going to take your driver's test in Cambridge, on your last behind the wheel for two hours, we would drive around in the Cambridge area and my instructor would show you, you know, what you could expect on the road test. And then when the two hours was up, you would end up at the DMV, the instructor would hop out and the examiner would hop in and you would do um, your road test in the same exact car that you just did your two hour behind the wheel in. So a lot of kids like that option, it is extra. And that's something we can think about later down the road, but just wanted to mention it now to you guys. Um, don't forget about the Minnesota driver's log. It looks just like this. You need that log and nothing else. Anyone under the age of 18 will need a 50 hour driver's log on the day of the road test. If you lost it, I do have it linked in Google Classroom for you today. Um, and if you ever lose it and obviously you don't have probably access to the Google Classroom again, you can just Google Minnesota driver's log and it will pop up. It'll be the very first thing. You just need to make sure that it has the state seal in the top left corner as you can see in the picture. Um, behind the wheel hours with us do not count towards the log. So please don't put your behind the wheels hours on the log, but it needs to be on that log and nothing else. I can't stress it enough. Like if you go to a road test and you got your mom and she can't find the log or if she thinks the log looks better typed up on an Excel spreadsheet, that's not going to work. If you have a loose leaf sheet of paper because you didn't have a printer at home and you documented all your, all of your hours on a loose leaf sheet of paper, that's not going to work. And I can promise you that those people at the DMV love nothing more than you not being prepared. Like it's no sweat off their back if you don't have all of your stuff or all of your documents or whatever, like, oh, sweet, I can go on break. Cool. Or they'll just move to the next person and then they can get done with their day faster. So they don't care. So it's really on you to make sure that you have all of your proper documents when you show up for your behind the wheels, when you show up for your road test, your permit test, all of that. You need to make sure you have everything that you need. And we give you a list. So it shouldn't be too difficult. You just got to make sure you're reading our emails. <laughs> All right. So the take a drive and locate worksheet, you will see this on Google Classroom today. Um, I do have like two virtual ones. So if you did it virtually, cool. Otherwise I have the two printable ones. So it's just side one and side two. You could print that and then you could upload it to Flexi. If you do the virtual ones, you don't need to upload it. Um, but if you do the print, the printing ones, just take a picture of, of them and upload them to Flexi. And if you've already turned in the take and drive and locate worksheet, maybe you turned it into your teacher. Uh, maybe you uploaded it on a different day. Don't worry about it. This is just a reminder for the kids that haven't done it yet. Honestly, if you say it's day 10 today and you haven't even started the take a drive and locate worksheet. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> um, say if you haven't done it yet. Um, I am totally okay with you guys. Say you're coming in for a permit test at our office in Forest Lake next week, Tuesday, say. You can just bring the worksheet in then, give it to me when you're taking your permit test, and then we'll give you your blue card. I'm totally okay with that. I mean, I, ideally, I would like for you not to kind of put it on the back burner, but I get it. Kids forget things. You guys are busy. A lot of stuff going on. I get it. So if you want to turn it in on the day of your permit test to us, that's cool. Um, but if you are taking your permit test at a DMV or something like that, I mean, obviously they don't want this worksheet. <laughs> so you can just email it to us or you can text me a picture. I don't care. However works for you works is good with me. I'm totally cool with that. Um, but we're turning the page here. But next, Back to the final. Again, so this is not the permit test. I cannot stress that enough. This is not the permit test. So don't go out and start driving after you pass this test. Don't do it. I've seen it before. 
Um, but you'll need to take the final over and over again until you get a score of at least 80%. 79 is not 80%. Like, I cannot stress that enough. If you do not get 80%, you won't get a blue slip, which means you won't take a permit test. So take it until you get that 80%. 79%, if I see that when I type in your name, I'm not going to give you a blue slip. If you guys don't know the difference between 79 and 80 maybe uh, you guys shouldn't be driving a car. I know that sounds harsh, but that's reality here. Um, we have some expectations here and we're expecting for you guys to follow through with those. Um, please take the final with your real name, nicknames or names you want your name to be or whatever. That's not what we're looking for. When we do type in your name on Flexi, we'll just type in your name and then your score will come up and then we'll write it down and we'll get you your blue card however you would like it. So it just makes things really fast and easy, especially when we have like 300 kids in one class from all these different locations. It just makes it smooth sailing for us if everybody does the same thing. Um, if you need a makeup gay again, please take the final still. Um, and then once you're done with the final, again, take and fill the outtake form. If you're coming in for your permit test today, please make sure you have a passing score before you come in to take your permit test. So even if you're coming to take your permit test at our office at 9 a.m. on Friday, that's totally cool. But you need to make sure that you have that 80 percent before you come in and take that final with us. OK, so you can take the permit test the same day as your final, like and it's usually a Friday for kids. Um, so if you want to do that and you've signed up for an appointment, rock on. We'll see you here in just a bit. Um, but remember, you need an appointment. The state of Minnesota does not accept walk-ins. And if you're taking the test with us today, we'll have your blue card. I say the same things over and over again because I always get the same question. So I'm just really hoping that you guys are <laughs> getting all this stuff. Um, but other than that, thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. I feel like every single class is just a new experience and you guys are always so fun and awesome and Thank you for choosing right away. It means a lot to me. Um, if you guys have any questions or anything like that, feel free to reach out, email us, whatever you need. But um, other than that, thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate you and good luck on your test. <laughs>